A tough week in Fairfield comes to an end in candlelight. Beloved high school Spanish teacher Noema Graber was killed Tuesday. Two 16-year-old students are in jail tonight. They're facing first-degree murder charges in connection to the death. A memorial now stands at the high school after hundreds of people came out tonight for a vigil in Graber's honor. KCTI's Kayla James was there as people shared their fondest memories of Graber. Many memories were shared as stories. Others are now written down as canvas placed on the school's fence. It's filled with names, messages of love, and special moments shared with Noema Graber. With a specially made song and candles raised, it was hard to find an empty space outside of Fairfield High School on Friday as hundreds came together to honor Noema Graber. She was amazing. Stories were shared. Noema loved attending holidays birthday parties and gatherings with my family. It was obvious Graber's impact went beyond her role as a teacher. I just knew her from the gas station. All I can tell you is that she was always a sweetheart and I'd seen her about every day. The crowd was filled with people, some who didn't know her. I never really had anywhere to go on lunch just because I didn't have a car then. Um, so she let me sit with her in like the back of the room and she would just tell me stories while she ate lunch but others who knew her well. Friday's vigil was organized by several of Graber's current students and their parents in an effort to bring the community together. There was so much good and she left us so much good. Noema Graber was a teacher, but to many in Friday's crowd, she was more than that. She was a mother, a friend, a mentor, a rock, and her loss is something that we felt for a while. I wish it didn't happen. And I wish she was still with us so I could finish out my trimester with her and just so she could keep living and live her happy life. I've been speaking with a friend of the Graber family. She tells me the family isn't yet ready to speak. Organizers plan on bringing a banner with people's signed names to the family. In Fairfield, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. 16-year-old Jeremy Goodale and Willard Miller are being charged as adults in this case. They face first degree murder and conspiracy to commit a forcible felony charges in connection to Graber's death. Both are being held in the Jefferson County Jail on $1 million bond each. Their next court appearance is November 12th. Governor Reynolds released a statement today about Graber's death. Quote, Ms. Graber touched countless children's lives through her work as an educator across our state by sharing her passion of foreign language. We'll be right back.